Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I can't even get through the intro because I'm in such like a different setting than normal. Obviously, this is not my normal setting. We're doing something a little bit different and I'm excited about it. I think you guys will like it. But if you are new here, welcome. My name is Faith. Thank you so much for being here. If as you watch, you like what you see, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. That way I know what you guys like and don't like. Today I am going to be cleaning off my makeup desk. It is so messy right now. I have not cleaned off or organized my makeup in probably a month. And that basically just means every time I sit here and do my makeup, I'm just throwing whatever I'm using back on the desk and not putting it away. So it's been a hot minute since I've cleaned it and it really needs to be cleaned because I'm actually having a friend over later in the week, my friend Amanda. And I'm gonna be kind of like helping her with some makeup and things like that for her wedding. So I want my little makeup room to be nice and clean for her. So I really needed to do this and I figured you guys might wanna see it because throughout this process you'll kinda see how I organize my makeup and also just take a look at what makeup I've been using and what makeup I haven't used yet. So yeah guys, let's just get right on into it. A lot of this I think will be like a, what's it called? Time, what is it called? In fast motion? What is the word I'm looking for? I'm sorry, I it's morning and I am not all there. Where's my coffee, seriously though? I'm gonna kinda speed through some of these parts but then stop every once in a while to talk about a product or chat about something here and there so it'll be a good variety of just some good cleaning action and organizing action and then just some in between things if I think of anything I want to say. Um, I've never done anything like this so I hope you guys like it and let's get started. take away some palettes that I don't use very much. Um, this is a great palette, the Subculture. It's actually, I think, on sale right now for half off at Ulta, but I just haven't been using it a lot, and same with the Prism. I also haven't been using the Lorac one a lot, so um, basically on my makeup desk, what I want to keep is stuff that I've been using a lot, and then I have organization back here that I'll just put the other stuff in. So I need to kind of get rid of some stuff that I have not been using. Um, so yeah, I think this is a good start. I haven't been using the Milani one. I want to use this Cara Beauty palette a little bit more, so I'm going to put that next to my Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I have two Kat Von D Shade and Light palettes, so let's just figure out here what is going on with that. Um, this one is just, like, these two are gone. I don't know, I should probably finish up the bronzer on those. Maybe I'll just keep this one out, and then if I ever need to replace the bronzers, I'll just dip back into this one. So I'm going to take these palettes and get them out of here. but you know let me know if you guys would ever want to see like a cleaning brushes video I don't know if you guys want to see that but let me know Here. Normally on this tray, can you see this tray here? I put my like skincare stuff 
but I have so much right now that it's kind of overflown. And also, this is that like swirly brush cleaning thing. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it where you like plug the brush in and then it swirls or whatever. Um, my mom got me this and it works okay. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but it kind of is like flimsy, so I don't know. It's not really working as well as I would have liked it to, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna put this somewhere else. Is the Sigma brush cleaner I definitely want to try this so if I do do that um, brush cleaner video this is maybe what I'll try and use I don't know we'll see samples do I have more samples I have like a whole box of samples I'll show you guys and you send me another uh, video idea I have let me know if you guys think that this would be cool or not would be to do a full face of makeup using like free samples. Wouldn't that be cool? I have so many. This is like more skincare, but I have a sample of the Bare Minerals uh, foundation. I have a sample of, this is Lila B lipstick. Some Stila samples, some more Bare Minerals samples, a Becca um, primer sample, an eyeshadow sample from Makeup Forever. So, yeah, I think that that might be a cool video idea. Let me know. Why did it suddenly get so dark? Um, there's a cloud over the sun, that's probably why. some of these foundations that I'm not using so I'm gonna get the Makeup Revolution ones out of here and the Becca one um, just because I haven't been using them as much in the summertime they're a little bit more like heavy and full coverage so I'm gonna get rid of these I'm also putting my setting sprays I don't know if this is catching on camera yet yeah, I'm putting all my setting sprays up here this is actually coming along pretty pretty good <laughs> still looks like a mess but I promise you we're we're on it um, this needs to, I have a brush problem, I have a serious brush problem. Makeup Revolution concealers. Well, not get rid of them, just put them in my storage, not on my desk, because I've only been using my Tarte Shape Tape, um, of course. Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to keep those out because they're pretty. Seven sponges. Oh, nope. Eight. Lash Slick, Lancome Defensils, Lancome Monster Big, 
MAC, oh my gosh, um, and Great Lash. So let's narrow these down. I'm going to keep the Glossier Lash Slick because I really like that on um, like no makeup makeup days. It's literally impossible to make that look clumpy, which is awesome. I'm going to also keep the Lancome Monster Big and the MAC one. I've really been liking that. This is the MAC in Extreme Dimension. Then I'm going to put, oh, I like the Lancome Defense Oils too. I'm going to put away Roller Lash and Great Lash. Why do I have such a mascara obsession? I'm going to keep them all. Look at the table. You can see the table now. wipe to wipe off my table instead of like cleaning it like a normal table because it's convenient and it works. Okay guys, I just finished up organizing. I'm going to take my camera off its stand and just kind of show you how I've organized everything and let you really soak in the cleanliness. Let's see how long it actually stays that way though, for real. So here we are guys. I have my lipsticks here. I didn't even have to organize that because I barely ever use bullet lipsticks and so those kind of stayed clean. But then I have right here my little palette organizer. This is actually, in case you're wondering, just like a, um, I don't know, desk or like folder organizer but I'm using it for my palettes and it's worked out really nicely. I decided to just keep the Jaclyn Hill Morphe, the new Kara eyeshadow palette that I used in my most recent Get Ready With Me, the ABH Modern Renaissance because I want to use this a little bit more, same with the Tartlet, and then my Shade and Light palette and my Glow Kit because I use these every single day. I kept out my Lancome Absolute powder just because <laughs> it was expensive and I like to look at it. Um, that was from the Jaclyn Hill Foundation Routine video that I did. Um, then here I have my MAC Give Me Sun, my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, my Bare Minerals powders that I use um, to set my foundations, some sponges, all of the foundations I've been using and the primers. So I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, my Hourglass foundation that I've been loving, the Dior foundations, the Too Faced um, Born This Way, Tarte BB Cream. This is a BB cream from First Aid Beauty. I wanna just get through the sample. My Becca Backlight Primer, my Professional from Benefit, the Tarte Shape Tape, and then back here I have all of my like lip liners and eyeliners. Then I have all of my mascaras. I have a couple glosses back here. Here I have my favorite Milani baked br uh, blushes. And then I have the uh, Becca Champagne Pop. I have a Lancome, or no, that's a Chanel blush down there. Um, my Charlotte Tilbury, my NARS Orgasm, some different powders back here, and my Glossier Lip Balms. Then up here I put all of my setting sprays on top of my little container that I use for my false lashes. I have a couple just lashes sitting here. This is just some Ofra like shimmery powder and my Fenty sample, the Fenty Lava Bomb, so like kind of like body shimmers. And then I have all of my brushes. I have so many brushes. It's like actually ridiculous. And then I have a ton of my skincare stuff back here. So like sheet masks, sprays, uh, different masks and lotions, and then just a cute little corner there. So this is the finished table, my finished makeup desk. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm going to turn you guys around so that I can actually like talk to you like a normal human. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if any of the different video ideas I mentioned sound interesting to you because I definitely will film those if you guys want to see them. So that is it, you guys. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!